हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल प्रोडक्ट जम्बुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन वन इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट इन सेलिनियम दैट इज पेज ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन रिलेटेड कंसेप्ट दैट इज पेज फैक्टर नाउ सी इन पेज ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल दैट वी हैव सीन सो वी आर सेपरेटिंग पेज ऑब्जेक्ट रिपोजिटरी फ्रॉम द टेस्ट केसेस राइट सो वी आर सेविंग पेज ऑब्जेक्ट रिपोजिटरी दैट मीन्स वी आर क्रिएटिंग क्लास फॉर एवरी वेब पेज राइट and that we are putting in page object repository so we are creating one package for page object repository and we will have another package for the test cases right and from the test cases we will create object of this web pages web page classes and by using objects we are calling methods and these methods they are, they are returning web elements right so already we have seen in previous video now see in this video we will see what do we mean by page factory so page factory is nothing but page object model only but it is inbuilt page object model framework so see it is inbuilt page object model framework so page factory is nothing but page object model only it is using page object model only that means we will have this thing right we will have page object repository and we will have separate test cases right page factory means it is inbuilt page object model framework now see it makes more code more simpler and optimized we will see example from this it will be clear now see it is used for the initialization of objects okay so again uh, we will see an example so from this it will be clear now see how it is used so see uh, this is page object repository so we have seen in previous video and here we have two classes so see one class for the ready home page and one class for the ready sign in page right and here we have test cases in this program right now see here so see here we have defined this object of by class right and uh, here we are using it right so in find element method we are passing this by object right so same thing we have done now see how to use page factory so see i am commenting this same thing but in different way we are doing see web element logo so see instead of creating this by object i am creating web element logo now see how this logo will get defined so for that purpose we have to use one annotation find by and in round bracket we have to mention locator so see x path so see here i am using x path you can use other locators also for example css selector id name class name etc now see in double quote we have to mention this locator so this is x path right so x path here i am mentioning now see so by this what we are doing we are creating object of this web element web element class right and we are initializing it by this by this x path now see it is showing red line so we will import package for this okay now see it is defined right same thing we will do for this also so see i am commenting this web element sign in now see how this sign in will get initialized so here are, we have to mention add find by in round bracket we have to mention x path is equal to in double quote we have to paste it right we have to copy and paste there here we have to mention right now see so we have defined this logo and we have defined sign in now what are these these are the web elements right these are web elements so see here one more thing when we are uh, writing code for the constructor so see here we have mentioned this dot driver is equal to driver so this driver is this driver right and this driver is this driver right so this is the instance variable and this is a local variable this local variable right now see one more thing that we have to do we have for initialization we have to use class page factory dot we have to call one method init elements now see here we have to pass two parameter driver and this now see this is a reference for the current object right and this driver means this driver see normally when you mention this means this local variable right so this driver here we have mentioned and this is reference to the current object right 
so see uh, what we have done here same thing but in reverse order right reverse order we are passing the parameter this driver this driver we have mentioned here and this this reference to the current object here we are mentioning right okay so that thing we have done now see one more thing we have to do so see here uh, previously logo was object of by class right but now that we have mentioned logo is web element right it is object of web element right web element class so here we are returning this right web element only we are returning web element so directly we can mention return logo because logo is now web element right same thing we can do here i am commenting this and return sign in directly we can mention because see now sign in is web element logo is web element so directly we can do that right so see that we have done now we'll run our code and we'll see whether we are getting the same result or not so see browser is getting open first test and this is second test okay so one test uh, out of these two tests one test passed and another test is failed right so same thing we have seen uh, reason of this uh, second test is failed because we are expecting true value but got false value okay uh, same thing we have seen in uh, last video right okay here also we can see the result of this and all tests so uh, verify logo test is passed and sign in test case is failed okay and if we click on this so here we get the result okay uh, reason for this uh, the test case why it is failed okay now see so see uh, here we are using page object model only but here we are using inbuilt page object model framework right so whatever the predefined things are there so that we are using for that purpose we have used this annotation find by here we are mentioning locator right and by this we are initializing this web element right then in constructor we are calling this init elements method this method is of class page factory right there we are passing two parameters driver this is local variable and this is reference to the current object right then here we are returning that web element okay so that only thing we have to do when we are using page factory so what is page factory page factory is inbuilt page object model framework same thing what we have uh, what we are doing in uh, page object model same thing we are doing in page factory but we are using predefined things okay so this is page factory so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you